And Colorado first at five. While it's likely to be a memorable midterm election, let's hope it's not like election night was here in Colorado 140 years ago. That is when the state's largest earthquake hit, a magnitude 6.6. .6 right here in the Centennial State. The epicenter somewhere near what became Rocky Mountain National Park, but it was felt across five states. Researchers say an important reminder, the risk is still with us. Our Jamie Leary in Golden, where she met one of the state's top geologists, keeping track of Colorado's quakes. Jamie, hopefully we don't have to deal with a big quake before the polls close tomorrow. Jim, it is unlikely, at least for now, that we'll see an earthquake the size of the one we did 140 years ago on this very night, but it is possible. And we're learning a lot more about what it would take to dig ourselves out in this day and age. As far as damages are concerned, about $30 billion today is what it would take to dig ourselves out. Colorado has about 50 to 70 earthquakes every single year, and most of them are small, but researchers say it's important to study them to assess when the next big one could happen. What the researchers did is compiled all this information and mapped it out. When the ground shakes in Colorado, Matt Morgan knows about it. He's the director of the Colorado Geological Survey and has been working with researchers and students at the School of Mines to track and study every movement. Every year we have earthquakes. We've had 50 so far this year. The latest earthquake registered 3.2 and hit Sunday night near Ridgeway. Up to magnitude about 3. And you can feel about a magnitude 2.5. So they probably just felt a little bit of trembling. The Colorado Geological Survey collects data from nine seismometers across the state. And to the untrained eye, live updates from the one at CSU, for instance, look suspicious. A bunch of around. stuff going on, but <laughs> probably not earthquakes. But when it's a quake, even the slightest movement. And that helps us kind of understand the risk we face here in Colorado. We try to learn from the past to you know, bring that to the future. Take, for example, Colorado's largest earthquake, a magnitude of 6.6. .6. It hit November 7, 1882 election night. In Denver uh, on the evening there were reporters working at the Rocky Mountain News and they, they felt violent shaking when they're typing their, their uh, stories up. The article says residents north of Larimer Street were startled by a sudden trembling. In Grand Junction people ran out of their houses. He says damage wise the cost of an earthquake like that today would be about 30 billion dollars. For Morgan it's a reminder. We do have damaging earthquakes here in Colorado. Colorado community members can also submit their own observations. It's a very important part of the research they do here in Golden. If you feel a tremor, you're encouraged to submit your observation to Colorado Geological Survey. Live in Golden, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Jamie, thanks so much. And Jamie covers Jefferson County extensively. Make sure you send her good story ideas. You can reach out by calling 303-863-TIPS or via cbscolorado.com.